Gansu province in northwestern China is one of the most diverse parts of the country, covering the Tibetan Plateau in the south, the Yellow River Valley, and the Gobi Desert in the north. Over the following videos, you can join my journey from the far south of Gansu in the small monastery town of Langwusse on the Sichuan border. The grasslands nearby the town are home to many Tibetan nomadic families, one of which I had the pleasure of staying with. Xiahe and the Labrang Monastery, one of the six most important in the Yellow Hat sect of Tibetan Buddhism, is a truly special place. as are the surrounding grasslands, monasteries, and ancient villages. Leaving the green fields and mountains of southern Gansu behind, we will join the Silk Road at the provincial capital of Lanzhou. The only major city in China built upon the Yellow River, Lanzhou has been a meeting point of culture and religion for centuries. From the capital, we will move to the city of Jiangye, located in the middle of the famous Hersey Corridor. The corridor was used for hundreds of years as the sole western passage in or out of China. Marco Polo lived here for a year, and Kublai Khan is said to have been born here. In the Gobi Desert, the Silk Road meets another icon of ancient China, at the town of Jiayuguan. The Great Wall of China. The historic end of the Ming Dynasty Great Wall, Jiayuguan Fort, still stands as imposingly as ever. Xiaozhou, the land of sand, or Dunhuang as it's now known, marked the north-south split in the Silk Road, and due to this and its dry climate, has a wealth of history on offer. Finally, to complete the journey, we will travel through the Gobi Desert to the border of Xinjiang in search of 2,000-year-old Han Dynasty relics and the Great Wall of China as you've never seen it.